Creating work axes is almost identical to creating planes. You can see on the Work Features panel that, like the Plane tool, the Work Axis tool has a drop-down menu. The Work Axis tool works just like the basic Plane tool, along with several more specific commands. One of the most common scenarios where you'd need to create an axis is through a hole or cylinder. To do this, just select the Axis tool and choose the hole. The same applies for a cylinder. Just choose the Axis tool and the cylinder. Using the Axis tool, just select the elements you need and Inventor will automatically create the correct axis based on your selections, just like the Plane tool. Before wrapping up, let's quickly go through all the individual tools. Again, these are all pretty self-explanatory. I can select Online or Edge. This lets me choose an edge or line, and an axis will be created that extends the line or edge infinitely in both directions. The Parallel to Line at Point tool requires you to select a line or edge and a point and an axis is created parallel to the edge, passing through the point you selected. For the Through Two Points axis, you simply select two points, and Inventor creates an axis passing directly through both of them. Easy enough! To use the Intersection of Two Planes tool, you can select two planes, flat faces, or a plane and a face, and the axis is created along the edge where they meet. For the Normal to Plane Through Point tool, you select a plane or flat face and a point, and the axis is created orthogonal to the plane or face and passes through the point. You can also create an axis that runs through the center of any circle or ellipse. Just select the tool and the circle or ellipse. Finally, you can create an axis that runs through the center of any revolved face or feature. You guessed it, you select the tool and the revolved face or feature, and the axis is created. Pretty easy, huh?